Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron, I'm thankful you're here. We're in the first gospel, Matthew, lesson 59, and we're in Matthew 22, verse 15. And so we're coming in Jesus' earthly ministry towards the crucifixion. We're getting in that point in here. Matthew, of course, was a tax collector. His name was Levi as well. And it's been said in history there was actually a Hebrew gospel of Matthew. But let's get started. Matthew 22, verse 15. Again, thanks for being here. Check out our playlist on Matthew, the other 58 lessons, and also Proverbs, Romans. We've done the whole book. And Genesis, we're getting close to the whole book of Genesis as well. Plan on starting either Acts or Revelation. And uh, I'm probably far more of an expert on Acts than Revelation, but... <laughs> I try to study prophecy every day in some sense. All right, so verse 15 of Matthew 22 again. Thanks for being here. Then went to Pharisees and took counsel how they might entangle him in his talk. You'll notice a little pill crow out there, a little flag. That means it's a beginning of a paragraph. So, I mean, they're actively plotting how to entangle. So you've got all these people who are learned in the Old Testament. And they're like, here's how we're going to trip him up in his talk. Verse 16, and they sent out unto him their disciples. So the Pharisees had disciples. Phariseeism is just outward adherence to the law without inward relationship with God for the most part. There were some exceptions, the Gamal Yule and this type thing. Uh, with the Herodians, and these would be followers of, of Herod, obviously, the political operatives, saying, Master, oh, flattery. Be careful about flattery. Let it be like chewing gum. Chew on it, spit it out. Flattery is a bad thing in the Bible. We know that thou art true and teachest the way of God in truth. Huh. Are they lying? Neither carest thou for any man. And what they mean, he, not that Jesus didn't care for the poor, but didn't care about the opinions of anybody. If you want to be like Jesus. For thou regardest not the person of men, because Jesus was the truth, the way, the truth, and the life. So, tell us therefore, what thinkest thou? Is it lawful to give tribute unto Caesar or not? Now, they think they have come up with the ultimate. Maybe they had done this with other claimants to Messiah or other people in times past <clears throat> because if he says pay uh, tribute tax money to Caesar then they're going to say see he's a Roman agent he's not the Jewish Messiah and they would be able to use patriotic feelings against him <clears throat> if he says don't he's an insurrectionist just like, you know, Pilate, they told Pilate, you're not a friend of Caesar's if you don't persecute Jesus, crucify Jesus. So they think they've got, this is an intractable problem, but Jesus takes the sword of the spirit and cuts the Gordian knot in two. But Jesus perceived their wickedness. So if you're ever trying to trip somebody up intentionally, uh, that's called wickedness, and said, why tempt ye me, ye hypocrites? Remember who else tempted Jesus? The devil. Hypocrites, the mask wearers. All right, show me. Job has a great section on hypocrites, the congregation of the dead, too. Show me the tribute money. And you've probably seen this. You can go on eBay and look at the tribute money and all this. And they brought unto him a penny. Long story there. And he said unto them, that was basically a day's wages. Whose is this image in superscription? Now, whose picture's on here? And then the superscription underneath it. They say unto him, Caesar's. That had been Tiberius at the time, I'm thinking. Um, Caesar's. Then saith he unto them, Render therefore unto Caesar's, this is the image and the name, the things which are Caesar's, and unto God, you're the image of God, the things that are God's. So he's like, okay, the image means you belong. The name means you belong. We're in the image of God. When we get the name of Jesus, we belong to Jesus. Oh, when they had heard these words, they marveled. They're like, you know, John has a great section on this too. They marveled and left him and went their way. Now, beginning at verse 23, the Sadducees who did not believe in miracles and we're kind of, they were the political leaders of the day. They're going to try some trickery on Jesus too. But we're going to start there. It's a very long uh, 
portion. So again, check out our other videos and check out our other playlist on this particular thing. God bless you. We love you. Join us daily. Thanks for being here. Subscribe. Hit the bell notification. Share with your friends. Bye.